Hi, uh, welcome to 313, so spring 2021, and uh, this is just kind of a quick video going over the syllabus if you couldn't make it to class on the first day, so if you are, um, probably don't need to watch this video, but um, I'm just going to go through this, so uh, TCM 313 is facility design, and so it could be really called um, uh, BIM and construction or BIM VDC and construction, because that's really kind of what we're going to work with. We're going to be working with uh, building design software or building information modeling software, mostly Revit for the entire class. We're going to look at a couple other uh, programs in here as well, but that's kind of what it covers. So, My name is uh, Jacob Nelson. Uh, PE is a professional engineer, and so most of my time is uh, spent, if it's not teaching, then it's actually engineering. And I do mechanical electrical plumbing systems for commercial buildings. A lot of you probably know that because you already had me in class, but some of you are new. And <clears throat> anyway, so I've been using Revit that we're going to have in here for, so for probably eight years now since it's came out. Most of my focus has been on the MEP side of Revit, um, but I've had learned quite a bit through the architectural side, so they all kind of work together and flow the same. So. Um, you can get a hold of me. Email is a good way. So if you guys got any questions, email me. My office is in Glass 205. Um, I'm not there too much, especially um, just the way things are around campus so far. Uh, the best way to do this as uh, office hours is it's pretty much any time you want to do a Zoom call or Microsoft Teams or anything like that. Um, give me a uh, shoot me an email. Give me some times. And we can probably set up a meeting within 24 hours. So it would be really nice with, um, with this class uh, doing Zoom because so often uh, you're looking at a computer screen and you're trying to get something set up or working. So two classes this semester, Section 901, 902, where I have uh, meet on Tuesday, both days. Uh, one of the sections that's looking at this, that's uh, 11 o'clock, and another one starts at 445. And we'll go over kind of how we're going to run the class through here. And, and if you could plan on showing up at those the, those times on those days, that would be great. Uh, required software is Revit 2019. And so we'll be sure that everything is working um, for you this semester in there. Quick note, if you are wanting to use Revit on um, your personal computer, there is a free download that you can go to and get a free download of Revit. Um, I can show you that out. I'll probably show that first class how you can do it. The other thing is, is if you have a Mac, you cannot use Revit on it unless you purchase a Parallels and buy a Microsoft. We don't have to buy it. You can get it free. Buy a Microsoft license and install Windows on that computer through uh, the Parallels program. Then you can use Revit on your Mac. So. Um, anyway, FYI, if you're looking at buying a computer for this class specifically, uh, do not buy a Mac, buy a PC. And so if you need some guidance, I can give you some recommendations too. But um, I'll just follow the, the student or uh, university recommendations for now. Okay, uh, student success. So at Missouri State, we are committed to student success. A key element to your success as a student is to engage in all course activities and communicate with your instructor. If you experience, uh, anticipate or experience academic barriers during the course, contact your instructor right away so you can discuss options. So um, I want everybody to get through the class just fine. So if um, you're struggling or having issues, you know, please don't wait till the last part of the class. It's hard, very hard for me to help you out on the very last part of class. I, and I get a lot of students that do email me, email me with issues or problems trying to fix at the very end and puts me in a tough position because I just can't help them out. So if you're having problems, identify them early, let me know. Course description, so a prerequisite is 221. If you haven't taken 221 or if you're an in it, uh, come talk to me. It's probably okay. Uh, I, I actually think this class will build on <clears throat> 221 quite a bit on how construction documents go together. So I found a lot of people take 221. Um, they learn kind of the basics, and then as you're drawing and laying stuff out, how we do in here in construction documents, then you really start to understand how it all clicks together. So you're actually making it click together. 
Course overview, students will learn concepts, the use of the building information modeling software to plan, design, construct, and manage a facility. So um, let me move down the course objectives because the, these kind of run all together. Uh, course objective, objectives, after successfully completion of this course, student, the should, student should be able to, number one, learn how to use Revit and create a building structure. Okay, learn how to develop a set of construction documents, understand the imp in a, implications of facility management and building information modeling. Use 3D solid modeling to provide estimates quantity for bidding purposes. So we'll see in the schedule we have kind of a, a design component up front and then more of a uh, construction component that we can use BIM for uh, towards the end. So one of the biggest things in this class is that you're going to start learning how to learn software. And so I'll give you videos and kind of guide you through it, but a lot of learning the software is just trying new things and fixing it. I mean, I could tell you some instances where <clears throat> I spent two or three hours trying to figure out one small item in Revit, and so it becomes a lot to, to try to try to grasp. So prepare yourself that it's hard for me to teach you everything, and so you're going to have to learn some of the software program on your own. What I will say as when you leave this class, you'll have a set of skills that you could track down, find uh, issues and problems uh, without the assistance of somebody else. So that's a big deal in this industry when you can stand on your own two feet. All right, attendance policy. So uh, we're going to have class, like I said, every, every Tuesday. I will be there for the time period. Most of our time spent, I will, I will go over. I'll probably do a lecture most of the time I'm there. It may not be as detailed. Um, as the the online lecture, but it will give you kind of a, a lecture that we can go to and, and move through. I'll also be posting lectures that you videos that you can watch. It's more how-to, and then you'll have to submit assignments off of those videos that you've watched. And so if we can cover those in class, we can, but anticipate really when you come to class, um, asking questions and me helping you through the software. That's what that class time there is for. Okay, let's go to the next page. All right, later makeup assignments. So feel free to ask as much as you want uh, until it becomes annoying, which at some point it will, but there will be no uh, makeup assignments uh, allowed in the class here. So uh, I know certain circumstances come up, some of them, and we'll handle that case by case basis, but it needs to be a pretty pretty reasonable excuse of why you missed that assignment. So most of the time, once um, the assignment due date is passed, I'll get in there, I'll zero everything out, and then we'll, we'll move on. And so those of you that had me at 321, I was pretty strict on that, and some of them stay strict. So one of the thing is, is um, you know, really want our students, once they graduate, to know the importance of um, you know, being late and being, getting your stuff on time is going to give you a huge advantage. So we can start working on that right now. And you'll have plenty of time. I'm not going to squeeze you and make, uh, not give you enough time to complete your course. If you budget your time correctly, it um, shouldn't be a big deal. I'll be using Blackboard for all the material. So be sure you get the Blackboard at least the first of the week and so we can start figuring out what's going on. Email me. Please use your Missouri State email. Don't email me with anything. Uh, of your personal email or anything. Let's just try to keep it all through Missouri State. So um, I'm kind of revamping the class since last year. We, uh, with COVID, we changed around a couple things because everything was everybody was working from home. However, eh, changed it around. Some of the things that that I did kind of uh, were kind of nice, and and we kind of broke it up between. I used to have a lot of large projects and not a lot of small supplementals type stuff and so I've kind of balanced it out so we got a couple large projects and and more supplemental stuff just to learn about the program and moving through as kind of a how-to guide so um, <clears throat> I'm anticipating about 500 points but um, not for sure if we'll reach that or not grading scale I'm gonna use the A, A minus, B plus, B if usually if you get above a 90 I'll go ahead and give you the A usually don't do a lot of A minuses, but once you're below that, then it goes to B plus, B minus. All right, here's our project final schedule. So I'll probably have a uh, final project in here. So 
Uh, here's the due dates that they'll be. So it's, that's just kind of your final schedule. So as a uh, uh, last year, last spring, we had the COVID kind of shut down. So we want to be sure we have some stuff in place where everybody knows. I think it goes a lot smoother now that everybody's been through it. At least most of you that are on campus that are in this class went through everything else last spring. So you kind of have an idea of what's going on. So uh, here's just a, a list of, of what we're doing. So really what's going to happen in this class, if something happens and we have to end up leaving, um, I'll probably make a couple modifications uh, to see how it's going um, to work out, but we're still going to be doing stuff online. We're still going to be using Revit, and you guys are still going to be responsible for getting that work done. And But most of the time we'll go online and just watch how-to videos and, and get through it. Okay, here's our course schedule. So we're kind of going over the syllabus and intro to BIM today, and then, uh, or at least the first class period. Then we'll get right into work on Revit and the project uh, project one programming plan. So I've added a new one. We're going to do some building code review since it is kind of facility design. You know, trying to figure out hey, what's a class B, what's class C, what's class R. You know, what building groups and stuff, and you know how to determine a little bit from the building code. Um, next, we'll learn about Revit families. It's a big deal on with Revit is families and how it integrates to your project. Uh, project four, um, roofs and curtain wall. So last semester, this worked out pretty good. I had an architect come in and did a, we did a really nice lecture over roofs and curtain wall, very detailed, so you can learn how to do that. Um, it's pretty good. Project five, we'll do wall section components and keynotes. So we'll learn about this kind of closer. Project six will be a design development project. We're going to have to put a set of drawings together. And so really this first part here is going to be learning about Revit and then a lot of just design building type stuff. And so it works good for a lot of interior designs that are in here to just, this is a lot of design heavy stuff. It also works good for construction because you start to learn how the program works. And to be honest with you, you may have to, uh, depending on what level of contract you're at, Maybe you're doing house, maybe you're doing remodels or something. Now you have a program that you can go use and create a nice floor plan uh, separate from AutoCAD. I think you'll find it a very uh, Revit a lot more fun and interesting and easier to use than AutoCAD. Okay, well, then after that we'll hit uh, spring break. Then we'll come back in the second set. Uh, uh, class setup is really going to be geared towards uh, construction. We'll do use Revit to do a cost estimate. Uh, we'll use Revit to kind of create recreate a building if we had to do something. Uh, <clears throat> pretty common in, in the trades to have to recreate something to do some of their the BIM uh, VDC work. We'll look at 3D laser scanning. So we have a scanner. I'm excited to bring that out. I didn't get to last year. We'll look at MEP structure. That's where a lot of coordination is going to happen on site. And also a lot of trades are going to be dealing with uh, project work session, so I'll leave that up. And then we'll deal with Navisworks. We're trying to do a little bit more Navisworks in the construction side. And once you learn how Revit flows, the way Navisworks is, it's, it's going to make a lot more sense that way. Okay, so 11 projects that we're going to try to get through this semester. We have the university policy. Again, we'll be uh, enforcing the mask and face covering policy that's in here. Um, drop into class. I want you to go through that academic policy, uh, integrity policy. So I'll be enforcing um, anybody that's cheating, turn into multiple assignments. So everybody needs to do your individual assignments unless I allow for a group assignment, uh, which in some case I may, but oftentimes you're going to be responsible for your own work. And then believe it or not, I'm pretty good at uh, remembering floor plans. So if I see somebody's that's the same as another, usually I can uh, derail it and figure out what's going on. So, okay. Got the non-discrimination policy, emergency response, religious accommodation, uh, mental health and stress management, and Title IX. So I'll let you guys kind of read through those. Um, all, everyone's important on there. Um, I know with a lot of COVID, mental health and stress management has been difficult as well as all, all these here. Uh, cell phone policy. So if you come to class, obviously you can have your cell phone there. I just, as long as I'm talking, um, just try to pay attention to what I'm doing. And no sense in being on your cell phone. At this point, you could just 
leave and, and go talk on your cell phone or not come to class because the lectures are on there. Uh, video recordings, please don't record me. There will be video recordings uh, available that you can get to. Um, if you have someone to be called by a different name, let me know. And there's a disclaimer and fair use statement. So be sure this material that we have, um, you know, it's kept kind of confidential within uh, this class period. Uh, obviously, you can use it uh, throughout your coursework here at Missouri State and some slight reference as you're using it in, in the real world. So that is it for the syllabus. All right, looking forward to administering the class here. Uh, enjoy this class. I think students really find it fun to build stuff. It's very different than than PowerPoint, test, take, and go. It's more project-based, and you're designing and creating stuff that's that's very subjective. So um, anyway, it's, it's a fun class, uh, and a lot of students enjoy it, so I hope you do as well. Thank you.